part of a casting or something? I mean, it's really thin. How to give a driver a heart attack, 101. Yo, what's up? Man, that's a bad, that's a bad start. You know, I, you know, every time I get on the camera, I never know how to start the thing, you know? I need to start coming up with a good, uh, good start on how we, good intro, you know? Like, what's up, this is Jonathan Hurt. Yeah, you know, see, that don't even work either. But, it, uh, yeah, all right, anyways. So, we here, we, we, in a, we on the road. Uh, we almost to uh, Long Beach. Uh, we're on our way to Rad Industries, uh, Dan Burkett's shop. We had a few things we're gonna do on the car. We've been traveling for over 20 hours so far. Yes, that is the car in the back on an open trailer. You know, my truck's transmission went down a little while back and with the COVID and stuff, uh, the transmission was like four to six weeks out. So that wasn't gonna have it fixed. And then also we got some news that we're relaying out about us teaming up with Simon Olson. We have a, you know, a, some transportation figured out between him. Uh, in me, but we weren't using that for round one because his truck and trailer was already out at Long Beach So it just didn't make sense to do that. So luckily my buddy Cody let us borrow his truck and trailer So we're almost we're almost in the California now I believe probably try and get some fuel here soon Before we switch over the state line because the fuel prices are absolutely outrageous out there and We've been kind of fishing, you know, gas stations as we've been going along. You know, we've paid as low as 366 all the way up to like five dollars a gallon. So obviously we were trying to stay, you know, as close as we can down to the four dollar range and uh, doing our best on on the gas price, you know, side of things. We also got to pick up some tires uh, when we get into California. Been talking with Mike at GT Radio to try and get that situated so we can pick them up, and then we're gonna go get those mounted and everything today and just go over the car, make sure everything's good for tech tomorrow because we have a tech appointment tomorrow at the track. I think it's 3.30 p.m. Um, not exactly for sure yet. We got all of our stuff in here, single cab truck, we got Twizzlers, Cameron's over here, he drove a little bit. I drove a while, I drove like 10 or 11 hours or something like that and then slept for a little while and then uh, while he drove and then now I'm back driving finishing it out. So we got like four and a half hours or something like that left, so nothing too bad pretty pumped to get there and get out of this truck and stretch and do something other than sit in the truck and drive. When we get there, we'll kind of show you guys around uh, Rad, uh, Rad Dan shop and uh, and you check out all the super things. What's up? So we made it to Rad Dan's Rad Industries. Looks like he's also loading some stuff up, getting ready. But we made her on the open trailer. Only 30 something hours, but we here. We only went through a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain. Ain't not, not too bad though. But anyways, we gonna go check, see what they're doing. Maybe they need some help. We'll give them a hand and then try and get a little bit of work done on our own car as well. So we'll see. Hello, welcome to the Cash Racing Channel. I am going to introduce you guys to all the Norwegians. Who are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, Cheers. Hey. This is Matthias. Oh, that's bad for you. Uh, John. John. Hey. Anders. Hey. Papa. <laughs> Matt. Hey, man. Where's Simon? He's inside. Sleeping. Oh, he's oh. not coming? I know. Oh, yeah, he's coming. He's coming now. I see him in the window. Oh, rookie of the year last year. Where is he at? Let's go hey, find him. Hey, who did he beat? <laughs> not me. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he did. Let's see if we can find him. Simon, yeah. are you coming? Yeah. Hurry. Yeah. There he is. Where's your cowboy boots and cowboy hat? Back home. You didn't bring them? No, I was thinking of buying some new ones. <laughs> I'm going to Kentucky. I need some. Yeah, true. Hey guys, so Cash is working on his car and he was supposed to film for you guys, but he's uh, terrible at he said he's terrible at this yep. shit. So he forgot the camera and he's probably not going to give you guys any content uh, this day uh, of him preparing the car and everything. So now you are stuck with us Norwegians. Safe. Yes. Ikke se det, Simon smører frem med den, for de kaller det for det. Se på huden, men da, hvis det er klar for å gå ut av det solen. 
Det hadde jeg ikke fri innere engang. Ingen er nede på kubbenøklene. Det er rødt kjeg, da. Hold seg her på salen. Hello. Hi. Hi. What are you doing? Working on my car. Did you forget something? Mother trucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, your guys are following no Norwegian guys today. <laughs> yeah, I told them how terrible you are and you forgot them and everything. So. Well, uh, just don't. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna tell y'all what not to do because then that's what y'all are gonna do. But you suck. <laughs> hey, wait, steer camera. <laughs> I really. Hello, where are you been? We are on our way to go get tech now. We just got the car ready. Get ahead. Hopefully, this baby passes. So, Jonathan's car is it's lacking everything. What is that? We all have a loose screw. I'm going to a bubble. I'm your new media guy. You're my media guy? Yeah. Oh, cool. Look at the camera. Hello. Is that mine? Yeah. <laughs> 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 What's going on? Well, so we noticed the engine was moving a lot at the dyno and testing, and it seemed to get a little worse. And so I contacted uh, Fuel Racing to kind of see what maybe might have been the problem because I've been running these engine mounts for a long time. Their guy accidentally welded the wrong DOM tube onto our mount, so the urethane bushing that goes in it has got some slop in it, so it's allowing the engine to move. And it would probably still work just fine through the weekend, but I would just uh, safely like to make sure there's no movement in it and try and get this fixed and get these bushings. Uh, they just slide in and out really easy, and we want to make sure they're pressed in. So probably try to make some sort of solid bushing to make this work. I think so. Oh, I see what you're doing. Fix it somehow, hey. So, so the plan is right now just put filler rod in there and yep. trim it up. Yep. Take up the space. Have you done this before? No. We no. Don't, we don't do this in Norway. We fix it properly. This is an American thing. This is American style. Okay. Yes. <laughs> the sketch level is incredible. Mm. I mean, I'm about it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Lucky number 15? Yeah, lucky number. I mean, is number 16. Do you want to go 16? Nope. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you got rack stops in there? Uh, I do, but I don't have it on mat. I haven't uh, adjusted. Jesus. Found it. So what's the setup change? Uh, I'm gonna lower the car back some because I raised it a little too much yesterday, I think. And then also I'm gonna drill a new hole in my sway bar uh, to change the pickup point on it so maybe it doesn't bind up. I'm just moving a pickup point on my sway bar. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see? No. No? You just blur it out? You just blur? Hold the sway bar. Yeah, so. I thought about it. <laughs> Hold your jaw? Yeah, no. Oh, this is quite the scene, boys. If I move... There it is. Yeah. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> the support. You go, girl. <laughs> almost there. Almost there. Well, that's a hole. I mean, you don't have to help it, but need that. What are you doing now? Changing these spark plugs. Just because from when we were on the dyno and stuff, and it was flooded and it caught fire, just want to make sure that the plugs are 100. percent You know, because that matters a lot. Do you run colder plugs because of the boost levels? Yes. Okay. I'm not trying to like give away all your secrets. I don't care. <laughs> we will tell all the secrets. We run an NGK spark plug. They sponsor the series. That's a plug. They don't sponsor it. It's a plug. Maybe maybe we. It's a plug. Yeah. Hey. Maybe they should sponsor. It. They should. We keep yeah, going maybe, through them. Yeah. Maybe we should actually message. Them. 
<laughs> this is not fun. Well, who I built the headers? That bad. Uh, well, they're pre-bought, but I built everything out. Who chose to use these headers? Me. Who wants to take them off now? Me. Uh. Yeah, now I'm stuck. I can't get the ratchet out. I got two. It's a race. Yeah, he did the first one over here, but so we're tied. Bad break is this hard for you? This is so hard. We're going we're to so Outback close to Chili's. Chili's. It's so and then we go to Outback. It's okay. Just What's up, guys? It's Thursday night here at FD Long Beach. We just got done finishing trimming up the fenders a little bit. We uh, switched to GT Radial uh, front tires, which is a 255-35. Before, we were testing with some 235-40s. And so we had to do a little bit of trimming on the fender that cleared at lock. So we just wrapped that up and uh, we going over everything, nut and bolt check, uh, switch the pickup point on the sway bar as well. So uh, maybe it won't bind up any, any at all. And then also uh, we got to change the rear gears for the track. I have some uh, setup stuff from uh, last year, uh, the wheel speed and stuff. So we're going to go ahead and change that tonight. So we're not rushing in the morning before practice. Uh, but after we got all that stuff done, change, also change the spark plugs and stuff. And then uh, we just got done. Uh, we're going to go take it for a quick rip around the parking lot, make sure everything checks out and uh, it's all good. And then we're going to swap the fluids out and uh, be ready to go for tomorrow. Uh, How warm is it? A little warm. Yeah? Like hot tub warm or like bathtub warm? Ah. Maybe it's part of a casting or something? I mean, it's really thin. You could pick up something on so, the. Yeah, could have picked something. could have picked something up. If there's anything on there. How to give a driver a heart attack 101. I'm gonna run the magnet in the oil pan just to make sure there's nothing, no, nothing else in there. I think that piece of metal is just from on top of the drain pan where it's been just laying out here in the open, but it's definitely something I want to make sure. Metal under here, dude. I mean, there's metal a... all over it, <clears throat> the pan. It's not like. You want to pick it out? Yeah. At first, I was like, dude, the end of the magnet is like chips, so I didn't know. I was like, oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> but no, it's fine.